Time for another delicious example of integration by parts. And this time, dudes, it's an exponential example, which you have seen before, but we're going to do a slightly harder one just so you can see what the worst is that life might throw at you. So let's say we're supposed to find this integral, x times 5 to the 3x minus 1. As always, first you should think of if you can solve this using normal rules, which you obviously can't. It's too freaking complicated. Then you should think about if you can do this using u substitution. And so you could basically say, look, there's an inside. I'm going to set u equal to, let's say, u sub. I could set u equal to the inside, which is 3x minus 1. And then, dudes, if you try to keep going along these lines, then it's going to fail. So um, the reason why, by the way, guys, so that you can maybe get an instinct for this besides just working it out and then only seeing at the end that it doesn't work, is that it's true this is the only choice for u that you could have. But whatever you pick for your u, the derivative has to be somewhere else in the equation. And so the, the fact that the derivative of u is 3, that works out fine, except for the fact that there won't be anything left to cancel out that x. When you find your du and you plug that in uh, and you use that to solve for dx, you plug everything in that way, there won't be anything to cancel out that sucker right there. You'll never be able to get rid of him. So we've got to do integration by parts. And here's how we're going to do it. As always, we got to pick a u, we got to pick a dv, and you want to pick a, a dv where when you integrate it to get v, it doesn't make your life too much worse. You want to pick a u so that when you take the derivative, it makes your life better. And the usual thing, dudes, is that the integral is not going to look much nicer, but the derivative is going to look a lot nicer. And so because of that, the correct thing to pick for u is just x. And that's because when you take the derivative, you just get 1 or du equals dx, same idea. It becomes a whole crap load simpler. Now, that means that dv has to be equal to 5 to the 3x minus 1 dx. And dudes, that means that when we find v, well, v is not going to be that bad, but in order to find v, we actually have to do some u substitution. So no point in moaning about it. Let's get cracking. If we do u substitution, u sub, yay! Okay, so if we do u substitution, then as always, you got to pick u to be the inside, 3x minus 1. And by the way, dudes, notice that I just finished telling you that for the big problem, this guy right here, u substitution would not work. And that's because there wouldn't be anything left over to cancel out that x. Now, notice that when we have uh, gotten down to this point here, we've picked this sucker to be our dv. When we're trying to find the integral of that in order to fill in this chart, the integral of that is just going to be the integral of 5 to the 3x minus 1. U substitution works great for that because there is no extra x floating around that we have to cancel out. Because there's no extra x floating around, U sub will work great on this guy. Um, and in fact, this is a good rule to remember. Every single problem you guys are likely to see, if the integration by parts resulting integral is not easy, then you'll solve it using u substitution. Um, all right, so that's our u. We calculate du, and that's just 3 dx. Um, and guys, maybe I'll just use like a capital U here because it's a different u than, uh, you know, this guy, not the same u. So I'll just use a capital U to hopefully make that a little bit more sensible. I don't know if that helps or hurts, but whatever. Um, so we've got u equals 3x minus 1, du equals 3x. That means that dx is going to be du over 3. And now all we got to do is plug that in, and here's what we get. Um, it looks like the integral of 5 to the u. dx becomes du over 3. That's the same thing as 1 third integral 5 to the u, du. And dudes, if you remember your rules correctly, that's 1 third times 1 over natural log of 5 times 5 to the u. And then, of course, if you're going to put the finishing touch on it, you're going to go ahead and plug back in for that capital U. And what you get is 1 third 1 over ln 5 times 5 to the 3x minus 1. That's what we're going to put in just for v. We did all that work just so we could finish our chart, and it looks like 1 third. 1 over ln 5, 5 to the 3x minus 1. All right, we did all that work to fill in our chart. And as always, dudes, here is a very good point to stop, take a breather, and make sure you see that this is all just a big integration by parts problem. And all we've done so far is just to make the usual chart for an integration by parts formula. 
Now that we have this chart, we're going to actually go fill some crap in. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to look like this. We'll write out the integration by parts formula. That's what we always do. It looks like integral of u dv equals u times v minus integral of v du. Let's fill this crap in. Um, u, if you remember, was just an x. So this is going to be x times v is like 1 third, 1 over ln 5, 5 to the 3x minus 1. And now we have the integral of v du. V is just, uh, oh dear, we have all this crap. Wait, no, I got to erase. I got to do it. Uh, okay. 1 third, 1 over ln 5, 5 to the 3x minus 1. That's our V. And our du is nice and simple, dx. No big deal. All right, so this is what we're trying to simplify. And let's get cracking by uh, mostly giving ourselves more space and pulling the constants out front. So let's make it 1 over 3, 1 over ln 5 x 5 to the 3x minus 1. That's what we have on the left-hand side. And we're going to minus the integral. But dudes, let's bring those constants out front. 1 over 3, 1 over ln 5. Integral 5 to the 3x minus 1. All right. So that's what we got. And dudes, because we're trying to find the integral of 5 to the 3x minus 1, that, again, is a u substitution problem. Now, that's the downside, but let me tell you the upside. The upside is that we already figured out what this guy is. We don't have to do it again. If you scroll up, check it out, dudes. We already had this thing that was like, hey, we've got a, um, we've got a 5 to the 3x minus 1. We want to figure out what the antiderivative is. And so we went ahead and we did the u substitution in all this horrible cluttered sense. And we got this sucker as our final answer. So let's go ahead and write that in because we're going to get the exact same thing here. And if you want to do the u substitution from scratch, hey, be my guest. I ain't going to stop you. So here's what we get. 1 third, 1 over ln 5, x, 5 to the 3x minus 1, minus 1 third, 1 over ln 5, times the antiderivative. And dude, that's again going to be a 1 third, 1 over ln 5, 5 to the 3x minus 1. How about that? So all I did, dudes, was take this integral thingy right there and replace it with the equation that we got for the exact same integral just about two minutes ago. Once we got this, then it's just a matter of simplifying because, dudes, at this point, we actually took our integral. There's no more integral sign, so it's just a matter of collecting all of our crap. And our crap mostly has one-thirds and one over ln fives in it. That's fun, I guess. Um, x, 5 to the 3x minus 1, minus... All right, dudes, and then let's combine our stuff. 1 third times 1 third is 1 over 9. Here we have two copies of 1 over ln 5. So I'm going to say ln 5 squared. Haha, <laughs> I see what I did there. And then multiply that by 5 to the 3x minus 1. And last but not least, dudes, it's an integral, so your answer had better freaking have a plus c in it. Do you know what I am saying? That's our answer, dudes, and it may feel like it's gross, but as long as you keep track of what's going on, it's not that bad. Now, here's what I want you to do. If you think this is gross and terrible, go back, uh, work this problem on your own, and make sure you can get the same answer in the end. Because this is an important thing, and all of these problems that I'm working for you are problems that you guys might actually have to do on a test. So go through, work them all on your own, make sure you can get the same answer, and if you mess up anywhere, just check to see where you messed up and like make a little mental note to try to not to mess up at that point in the future. That's how perfection is achieved. <laughs> and I'm your role model. Woo! Doggy!